Hi, you're listening to Book Chat with author Vivian E. Moore. Welcome, everybody, to this week's episode. We really appreciate you joining us. This podcast really shows us how we can all learn, live, and thrive off of each other. By sharing our knowledge through our conversations, we will impart some knowledge whilst learning ourselves how to progress even further. Here is your host. Hello and welcome to Book Chat. I am your host, Arthur Vivian Moore. Hope everyone had a great week and I hope that you're having a great weekend as well. All right, so we started on time today, so that's an accomplishment. Let me just clap my hands for that, all right, uh, which made up, I hope, for last week's um, tardiness, although it wasn't my fault. <laughs> I'll just have to remind you of that. Okay, so we're going. I'm not going to keep you uh, for too long today, so we're going to move straight to today's show. Uh, the title of today's show is Looks Like We Made It, and the topic is The Importance of Perseverance. Um, we are all familiar with the phrase, the early bird gets the worm. Try, try, and try again until you succeed. And my personal favorite, closed mouths don't get fed. Uh, how many times have we heard that, those phrases? So many times before. But recently, um, I experienced a triumph. Uh, this is a truth moment I just want to share. Uh, and, and, and I accomplished uh, a goal that I hadn't set for myself, uh, but along the way, I realized that I possessed a powerful tool called communication. And so um, I was able to reach uh, a broader audience due to my perseverance. So let me talk about this, um, this, little, this goal, uh, this success story. Um, that I want to share with you. So, um, when I first started the show, I didn't set any goals, um, or any, um, expectations for this journey. Uh, you know, and, 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 and actually my expectations weren't very high at all, uh, regarding, uh, listeners and popularity. Um, however, I, I didn't let any negative responses, um, due to lack of listener participation or otherwise stand in the way. But despite those two crucial avenues, I still reached a milestone and I believe that, uh, you know, what I have to say as a podcast host and as a writer is invaluable. So I just have to say thanks to those who listen to Book Chat Weekly um, and uh, went out there and supported me uh, when I went to social media and share it with them how, how far away I was. Uh, from a goal that I that I realized that I was achieving, uh, and um, and I wanted to um, since I was so close so close to it, I wanted to um, to achieve that goal, which was ten thousand downloads. So I have to thank you for that. And you know, as I said, you know, I didn't let um, you know likes or no likes or you know listener participation or anything of that sort uh, discourage me from doing what I set out to do. So I guess if, you know, if I, if I, if I did achieve a goal, it was to continue doing what I do and, um, and not give up, uh, in the process. But anyway, um, again, thank you. And, uh, through perseverance, it became possible, um, to, um, to reach a broader audience plus encourage, enlighten and uplift by creating a positive narrative. In a competitive world, it's easy to allow distractions to pull your focus away from your goals, and that can lead to unaccomplished projects no matter what they are. And often, um, it's not always distractions that lead to failure, but people who discourage you from accomplishing your goals. So I'm here to tell you um, you don't allow naysayers to dissuade you from your dreams, okay? Maybe they don't mean to be harmful uh, when giving opinions, but if you value them, that goes without saying you listen to what they say. And words are powerful, uh, which means they can make or break you in many ways. 
but you must persevere and push through by not forgetting who you are. Um, the opinion of oneself is not always linked to vanity, but confidence. And as I've said many times before, no one will believe in you if you don't believe in yourself first. Even if you're told that if you haven't reached a certain level of success within a certain amount of time, then somehow you failed. So I'm here to tell you that's untrue because we continuously learn and grow at our own pace. There is no race only perseverance and that is um that is why we're doing this show today um to let you know that um to not give up just keep going keep pushing ahead be strong in what you do um have faith in yourself and 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 if you will just allow me to encourage you further you know it's not about fortune or popularity it's about knowing your worth so don't be afraid to step out on faith and trust that the prayers of the righteous availeth much. So don't be afraid to speak your truth through perseverance. Setbacks will occur, but don't allow them to hobble your movement. And in the end, <laughs> it will not only look like you made it, but it will be confirmed. All right, so that is our show for today. But before I let you go, I want to make sure that I give you these URLs. Um, to keep you in constant contact with book chat. Um, so, of course, the first one is to Spreaker, and that is https colon forward slash forward slash www.spreaker.com forward slash user forward slash author Vivian Moore. You can follow me um, across all social media uh, platforms, which include Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Instagram is by invitation only. And as I said last week, please, those who are scammers, those who um, are trying to populate my timeline with um, just nonsense, please stop. Do not send me these invitations uh, if you aren't seriously reaching out uh, for any other reason than that. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm very um, selective as to who... Um, I follow on Instagram due to that reason. Um, you know, I, you know, I, I don't have a lot of followers because of that. But, um, but if um, if I feel that you are legit, I will follow you back because that's important. You know, to get follows, you 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 must follow uh, those individuals. But um, but still, you know, I, I I limit who I follow because of all of the nonsense that is. Um, attached to those follows okay and also uh, you can check out my website which is at https uh author vivian moore.com or author eh shepherd.com uh, my blog is updated on a weekly basis and you can you can go there um uh, at https colon four slash four slash vivian more dot all right so those are all of the the um urls uh, to keep you in contact with book chat and again i want to thank you so much for those uh who i reached out to across social media um you know you you went out there and you helped me reach that ten thousand. i actually i'm over ten thousand now so um you know and it, it continues continuously grows on a daily basis so i i have you to thank for that and i do appreciate it excuse me and if you don't mind um, I would ask that you would uh, go out there and like the show, you know, if you've listened to the to the podcast, to those episodes that you downloaded, and if you like them, um, and please leave feedback. And, you know, um, it, and it doesn't matter, um, you know, if you like the show, if you don't like it, you know, you can tell me, you know, my skin is tough, uh, <laughs> and I'm not dissuaded by negative reviews. So, um, you know, and how I see it, I see it as constructive criticism, so it helps me to grow and it shows me, um, you know, my weaknesses and my strengths and, and where I need to strengthen. Um, so, you know, go right ahead and, and, and you know, and, and send them out and, uh, you know, and just tell me if you like it. If you don't like it, it, it's fine with me. And I appreciate that feedback, no matter if it's positive or negative. OK. And also um, you can uh, listen to uh, this um, book chat over all um platforms that um that um 
host um, podcast, uh, including Spreaker, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, CastBox, Deezer. Those are two different things. Uh, Podcast Addict, Podchaser, YouTube, SoundCloud, Jile Saving, Audible.com, Verbal Luminary, and also Apple Music. So, um, and there there are a ton more um, avenues uh, for you to um, to choose from to listen to uh, my podcast. And, uh, you know, again, like I said, I, I can't thank you enough for helping me achieve a goal that I, that I didn't even realize, um, was possible. Um, you know, you, you guys have set the bar so high for me and I appreciate that because it gives me a chance to shine, you know, to shine a little bit more and to reach, uh, you know, those goals that, that are out there. Um, you know, because sometimes you're, you, you are not aware of where things are going um, until you get there. And so, um, <laughs> I mean, it's just been, it, it is just, uh, for me, it's such a positive reflection on what I do uh, on a weekly basis as far as uh, trying to uplift and inspire, um, you know, fellow writers and, and authors, you know, newbies and those who have been around for a while. Um, you know, I, hopefully I want to get back to doing, um, author interviews, uh, maybe for 2022. So that's another goal, um, you know, to do as many as I possibly can, because I really, truly enjoyed, um, interviewing other authors and, you know, learning about their, their styles and, and, you know, and their accomplishments and things of that nature, because that's what this show is about. Um, you know, sharing, uh, those goals and, 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 sharing those things, those highs and those lows and, and, you know, sharing information, uh, with, uh, with up and coming writers and, and those who are just, um, starting out and, and really don't know which direction to take. Um, that's what this show is about to give you some direction to, to help you, you know, map it all out. So, um, I appreciate those who listen to the show, um, and, um, you know, and spread the word, you it, share it, please, please do please share it. And um, tomorrow is first Sunday, so you know I always get excited about uh, first Sunday, and uh, because it's Communion Sunday, so I hope that you are attending church somewhere. And you know, if you're not, um, I understand why, because you know this COVID doesn't seem to be going away anytime soon. And when you get, you know, just when we get um, acquainted with with one strand, then a, a different one comes along. So just be safe. And, uh, you know, and follow all the, the protocols that are out there to keep you safe. And um, also, you know, be mindful of, um, of, um, of, of just everything, you know, around you, your health. And because this is also flu season. And, um, you know, so we don't need that double whammy of getting COVID and also getting the flu. So get vaccinated and also get your flu vaccines because that's important as well. And also what's important is telling those um, in your life who mean the, the most to you, how you feel about them. So on that note, I love you. I hope you love me back. Until the next time you hear my voice, God bless you and goodbye. Loved what you've heard on this week's episode? Well, well, the answer is simple. It would mean the world to us if you could head over to iTunes and leave us a five-star review and feedback. Spreading the word really is the best way to grow our podcast and achieve even greater things. Thank you. Thank you.